your paint. It is a sink right. for life to do you, you, you got some paint on your yeah. arm. Yeah. You got some paint on your arm. A lot of tattoos. Yeah. All right. All right. I have a. Where are you from? America. America. Wow. Can I go with you when you go home? <laughs> I'm staying here. Oh, uh, where? Are you with I, someone here? I, I've Would been here. Are... I've been here seven years. Oh, come on, come on, be safe. Na ram de ini kapuyak in English, oi. Wala, wala kwarta. Wala kay kwarta. Happy la mo trabaho. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, thank you. You're gonna paint the whole wall? Yeah, the whole what wall. What does this say? Sit up. Yeah, Singapore like Cebu City. Singapore like Cebu City. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Hi. I have a I have a YouTube channel called Amazing Philippines. Oh, really? So you'll be you'll be famous. All right, see you. This is our <laughs> Amazing okay, okay. All right. Hello and welcome to the Philippines. The mayor of Cebu City has a promotion going on, a goal, I guess, to be, uh, to be Singapore-like. And uh, I have not been to Singapore. I have, I have watched videos about Singapore. I have read about Singapore. Uh, so let's talk about Singapore. Um, Singapore is a city-state. It is basically a city that is a nation. It's got about five and a half million people, uh, very, very densely populated, much like the, the Philippines. Versus Philippines has 113 million, give or take, million people versus 5.4 million people. Uh, also very densely populated in this small nation. Um, Singapore is a global financial center. It's uh, one article I said it was the second most uh, expensive city in the world. Uh, how much? 30. Huh? 30. 30? Oh. For water? Oh, water. Ah, no. Ah, 20, 20. No, 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 20, no, no. 20. no, no, no. You tried to rip me off, huh? 20. No. 30 pesos for it. <laughs> ah, funny guy. He dropped down to 20 immediately. That is the first time that's happened to me in years. Uh, those bottles of water usually go for 15 pesos or 20 pesos. And yeah, he came up and tried to, tried to charge me 30 pesos. Well, maybe he wants to be like Singapore one of the most expensive cities in the world. Maybe that's what he's doing. Anyway, back to Singapore. Um, even though it's the second most or very expensive place to live city, and it's actually, it's actually one, uh, Singapore is the main city, and Singapore is the name of the, the city and also the nation. Um, it's made up of uh, one, one very large island, one, uh, pretty good size island I think I read and 50 or more smaller islands uh, four official languages and yeah for the cost of living I, one article also said that uh, that uh, if you're very careful you can live on 1,500 do US dollars a year being very very careful well that's probably the case anywhere I guess if you're very careful you can very frugal, live very cheaply. Now, oh, some some very interesting things about Singa Singapore. It is considered super clean. Uh, even they've got a ban on chewing gum. I don't know the details there. Uh, they've got fines, heavy fines, I think, and corporal punishment. I think uh, I've read about uh, canings, uh, where they they cane people, use a cane to whip them or something, and and. and I don't know if they do that in public generally to to disgrace the people. Now that certainly would make an interesting uh, video, wouldn't it? <laughs> YouTube probably wouldn't allow it though. So as far as, as Cebu City and other cities uh, trying to attain that super cleanliness, uh, you can see as I walk here, they've got a long ways to go. And I've, I've been here three trips, I've been here seven years. Uh, six different condos, different parts of the city, and I've, I've traveled uh, not as much as I'd like, but I've, I've been out to the provinces. Oh, this guy's fixing his, fixing his tube. 
Oh, with the glue? Uh, yeah, with the glue. Oh, okay. This one, this glue. All right. So he glues the, uses super glue, I think, to uh, glue the patch on there. And he's, he's done it several times. Apparently it works. But one thing uh, you will notice, you have noticed if you've been here, is the, uh, the trash. The trash. And, uh, you know, the, the government says, people, you know, you're going to be fined if we find you littering. And yet, it's very obvious. Obvious, looking around, even at, even in the malls, there is a lack of trash receptacles. And uh, if you do find one, quite often, used to be more often, but still, they are full. They're not being emptied. Hello. So the infrastructure, the infrastructure is not in place to collect the trash. And even the trash, uh, the trash trucks don't come along often enough, in my opinion. And I don't know the details where the landfills are. I know they, uh, there was going to be a new one outside of town here, and they, here in the last year or so, they, they canceled it for a number of different reasons. It might pollute the water or something. If I were king, I would do a, uh, I would do a big promotion. I would get the schools and the churches and the media behind a big promotion to uh, be, be, take pride in your community in your neighborhood and uh, keep it clean but at the same time the government has a responsibility well, a to uh, to provide the infrastructure center. across the street over there is a I've done a video in there there are people living in there that's a cemetery Chinese cemetery looks like a little temple up there a little ways ahead of us and uh, looks like they got the gate closed now so maybe there's some restrict little bit of restriction on movement of people in and out of there maybe but infrastructure in, in a number of ways uh, Singapore has a has a pretty good uh, has a pretty good transportation system I understand they've got malls they've got uh, like I said there's a world they are a world financial system four official languages Eng English Tamil Tamil Malay and uh, and man Mandarin and Mandarin, a lot of Chinese, Indians, Malays in that country. And what I've read, just like here in the Philippines, you probably uh, you can probably get by with uh, with English. In many cases, there will be somebody who speaks English, understands English, and uh, just like here in the Philippines, there's there's many varying degrees of people with English. I, I meet, uh, I've met small kids who have very good English. I've met very old people who have very good English and everything in between. Uh, people who, uh, in, <laughs> clerks in stores who will, when there's a bunch of clerks, uh, one or two will kind of go back, get behind everybody else because they don't want to deal with the foreigner. They don't know where I'm from, what, Eng what, what language I speak, and they're not comfortable probably with English. So the private sector is a big reason, not just government, but the, the private sector sector has a, businesses have a big responsibility, and uh, there is. There's a lot of private uh, development, a lot of public-private type situations, uh, but there's a problem. There's a problem. This country and many other countries shut down their economy, basically shut down their economy for uh, over two years, and uh, you're three over three years later, uh, the Philippines is still trying to recover. You know, it, it's uh, it'll be another year before they get, or more before they get back to their uh, previous tourist levels before the government crisis. So the government's uh, and and what I've seen in uh, in the seven plus years I've been here is that there are a lot of projects that are started and then they kind of go on standby they're they're delayed and I, I know there's a big uh, expressway that's planned around the outside the, kind of the north side of Cebu City from from the south towns uh, around so people don't have to drive through Cebu City got a traffic enforcer out there this is a bu very busy intersection sometimes there is a, an enforcer out there giving hand directions sometimes there is not but it works Filipinos just share the road but these, uh, I think the guy, the construction company working on that express race said, well, yeah, it's going to take, I don't know what he said, uh, seven years, ten years, or something like that to finish this at the rate that we're getting supplied the funding. 
and uh, that's a big problem. The, the federal government, the local governments, the city governments have lost basically three years of, of revenue and they weren't in good shape before then. So how are you going to do, how, how are you going to uh, fix all this? Now I see, I walked the other day, I'll, I'll put a video up uh, and, and there is, there, there is some uh, bunch of roosters in there. There are infrastructure, uh, this is a small town lottery, and uh, lots of people play those things hoping to, hoping to win their way out of poverty, I guess. Much like the USA, and I'm not going to get into a big discussion here, the, so many states have lotteries, and basically it's a tax. It's a tax, and especially on the poor people, because uh, I think, I think uh, the majority of people who, who play those lotteries are hoping to win something and uh, be able to <clears throat> afford life, take them out of poverty maybe. So anyway, the uh, Philippines has a, I mean, we've got the BRT going on here now, bus rapid transit. Uh, they're talking about a monorail. Uh, they're talking about a fourth uh, I think they finally decided on the route of a fourth bridge going from North Cebu over to Mactan Island. Um, they've got a new international airport. has been open for a couple of years. Uh, got a number of uh, private casino resorts, huge things going up uh, over on Mactan and uh, in the SRP South Road properties, as well as uh, in Mandawi, across from Park Mall. Uh, my understanding is there's another big casino resort hotel planning to go in over there. So whether you call that progress or not, it takes a, a dilapidated building down and build something new and modern and something that uh, will attract people and money. And as far as expensive cities, you know, when I when I moved here, there was tremendous growth and demand for condos and, and business properties. Uh, when I came here in 2015, and you know, I asked uh, I asked an architect that was a manager of my first condo I lived in. I said, "Do you think they're overbuilding?" And uh, he said, "Well, that's a discussion going on, uh, but the demand was there, and not, and with demand, prices went up." That is Persimmon Condo. I lived there for a few months. Persimmon Condo. I think there's four towers over there. And I've done videos there and in dozens and dozens of, uh, of different condominiums as well. Check out my videos, uh, cost living videos, travel videos, uh, uh, housing videos. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you are notified of upcoming videos. Generally, I do uh, two to three a week. One other very important, maybe the most important thing about Singapore and how it became famous, they invented the Singapore sling, is what I've read. Now, I've never had a Singapore sling. Um, I think that's an alcoholic drink. Some of you will know more about that than I do. Now, those of you who have been in Makati and uh, other uh, upscale places in, in the Manila area, you tell me. Are some of those areas, and if you've been to or are familiar with with um, Singapore, do, do they resemble at all um, with this, this lady's uh, recycling items? Hopefully, she's going to make some money off of that. One thing uh, also about Singapore, I know many, many, many years ago, they they took the the uh, informal settlers, the the poor, and they they built. Uh, they built apartments, high-rise apartments for them, and they moved them into there. And they got rid of all the slums, or I don't know, maybe they're still slums, but they got rid of a lot of the slums anyway. And that's something that the Cebu City and the Philippines are starting to do. They are starting to build more and more low-cost apartment buildings. Got some going on uh, over in Mandawi that I know of, some going on um, out down on South Road Properties. Anyway. Tell me what you think about uh, Cebu City turning into another Singapore over the years. Uh, that's it for now. Talk to you all later.